Welcome to the tutorial for taking tests in Blackboard. This tutorial provides an overview of how Blackboard tests work, as well as tips for successful test taking in Blackboard. Please note that Blackboard and other websites use the term test, quiz, or exam interchangeably when referring to Blackboard tests. Before we begin the test, let's take a look at some tips for successful test taking. First, you'll need to make sure that you have a web browser that supports Blackboard. Firefox is generally the most stable browser when working with Blackboard. Also, you'll need to make sure that your browser settings are up to date. The student orientation course contains additional documents with links for checking that your browser is ready to use Blackboard. Next, you'll want to disable all pop-up blockers or set them to allow Blackboard pop-ups. If your computer is set to update software or scan for viruses automatically, be sure that you are not taking the test at a time when those updates are scheduled to occur. Next, you'll only want to open one browser window to use Blackboard, and you'll also want to be sure that any other programs are shut down to minimize possible interruptions. Some programs on a computer may interfere with Blackboard or may be distracting when you're taking a timed test. It is highly recommended that you do not use a wireless internet connection when taking a Blackboard test. Similarly, you do not want to use a mobile device such as an iPad or a smartphone. These uh, can be unstable because the wireless can time out due to lack of activity and therefore kick you out of the test. Finally, do not open the test until you are ready to take it in one sitting. Your instructor may have set the test to be timed or may have limited you to only one attempt, so you'll need to be prepared when it is time to take the test. Now let's take a look at taking a test in Blackboard. All tests will be posted in the weekly folders under course content. For this test, notice that the instructor has given some important information about the test. It is important to make sure you understand what the test entails before entering it. Many times you will have only one chance to take the test and are given a time limit or specific dates of access. Your instructor will determine these details. Let's click on the link and take the test. Once you click on the test to open it, you will see instructions for the test. These include the number of attempts, the time limit, and whether you are required to complete the test in one sitting. If the test is timed, the timer will start when you click on the Begin button. To answer the questions, click on the radio button next to the correct answer. It is recommended that you click Save Answer after each answer. That way, if you're accidentally logged out of the test, your instructor can see what you've completed already. To move to, if your instructor has set the test to display one question at a time, just click on the arrow button to move to the next question. Please note that some instructors may prohibit you from moving back after you have submitted a, an answer. All you need to do to move forward is click on the answers and click on the arrow to move to the next question. Some questions may require you to fill in a blank. Be sure to enter the answer accurately as Blackboard may mark the, correct, the question incorrect for errors or variations. When you have completed the test, click on the Save and Submit button. If you have forgotten to submit an answer, a pop-up window will appear reminding you to go back and answer a question. Click OK to complete the assessment. A confirmation window will appear to indicate that the test was saved and submitted successfully. It is strongly recommended that you print or take a screenshot of this submission for verification or technical support. To review your results, 
Scroll down and click OK. You'll then be brought to a window where you may be able to see options such as your score on the test, the answers you submitted, which questions you answered correctly or incorrectly, and feedback for the question. Please note that your instructor may choose to restrict some or all of this information until after the test has been completed or until after you have completed all attempts. To review this information at a later date, you can return to the course content area where you took the test. This will bring up the results. To view your grade at any time, you can click on the Grade Center. You have the option to click on the test link, and then you can review your results again as needed. For assistance with tests in Blackboard, you can start by contacting your instructor. If you ha are having technical issues, you may want to submit a ticket to the Support Center at esupport.ctdlc.org. This concludes the tutorial for taking tests in Blackboard.